Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, in the last video, I've already prepared one session for the smart page object generator. There are a couple of things I really want to do show you that uh, if you click on, let's see, launch page object generator through which you can generate some really smart locators and the page object model and the page class and the page object for Cypress now also, Playwright also we have added, Selenium also with any language binding, Playwright also with any language binding plus Cypress with JavaScript and the TypeKit also I have added over here. But today I'm going to talk about because a couple of people were asking that do you really support the Playwright based locators, right? Because in the Playwright we have so many things. In the Playwright we can use CSS also, XPath also, then we can use the semantic roles also, get by placeholder, get by role, get by title, get by text, right? There are n number of options are available in the Playwright locator strategy. So here we can instruct to this particular tool because this tool is using the cloud ai internally and then we can instruct that okay yeah, this is what i want so on the basis of that it will generate the page object model for you it's very very simple and very straightforward this is something very unique that you guys i'm sure you guys will love it so what we have to do we just need to click on this launch page object generator and here i have given you can see multiple options uh, with respect to framework playwright selenium cypress you can use it if you use Playwright, which language you really want to use, you can pick that specific language, JavaScript, Python, Java, C Sharp, because this is a this is an actual pain that we create number of page classes, 20, 30 fields are available, and then copy paste from the dev tools or using some, you know, a browser plugin and copy paste the XPath or CSS or any kind of locator or Playwright generator also if you're using or code gen also you're using it. So many windows we have to open, go to the Chrome dev tools and then inspect the element, then create the web element, and then create the XPath. There are a lot of things like you have to do and then write the code. Then you have to write locator or page.locator or page.getByRole, you have to write it. So why to write so many things like this? And we know that, okay, we know the locator strategy, we know how to create the locator so we can improve the productivity here. So this is the main intention behind this particular tool, right? So what we are going to do here, let's see, I'm going to use this application on this application, you see that, okay, a few simple fields are available. Let's just start with that. I just need to supply the URL here and then I'll say playwright with the TypeScript and here it says locator preference. It's an optional thing. I simply say don't use, you know, unnecessary other types of locator. Majorly focus on the semantic roles. Okay. Semantic roles, if you're having the idea about the playwright means get by role, get by placeholder, get by title, get by uh, area label if I really want to use it. These are on the basis of semantic roles. I want to use it, not the typical XPath or CSS here. So CSS and the XPath will have the least priority, but the first preference will always be given to the semantic roles based here, right? After that, if you really want to ignore any specific section, no, I don't want to ignore it. And then simply click on generate the page object. It will analyze this particular uh, URL. And then um, on the basis of that, it will simply generate the page object for me. It will generate the proper class, locators, variables, methods, everything it will generate. Same kind of thing that we write in the page object model, exactly same thing it will generate it for you. So hope I hope you can see that. See this is giving me a class, something like this, one page a reference got created, constructor got available. This is the TypeScript uh, logic, I mean TypeScript code. And here you can see that, okay, page get by placeholder, get by placeholder, get by role and page dot locator, it is actually using it here. And after that, all these are different getters it has created which is returning the method like which is returning the locator sorry and you see that the return type is locator okay and then this is giving me the one page method also let's see login method which will take username and the password and then one method navigate to also it's given which is navigating to some this particular page so it's up to you which locator or which method you really want to use just simple copy from here and start using in your visual studio code simple but let's say I say, okay, no, I don't want to use uh, semantic roles. So simple, remove it from here and then simple generate XPath or CSS based locators, right? Majorly, we will always prefer the CSS based locators. But let's see if I don't write the semantic roles, then in that case, it will not give you the get by role or get by placeholder or something like this. See, first of all, it says there are like six interactive elements found one button, two input fields and one other element. And then here is giving me now, can you see, get by locator with the CSS selector, hash ID is giving me, hash ID, hash ID. This is also the CSS selector, dot class name, again, CSS selector has been given over here. 
So this is like very easy, very quick. Just copy paste and then start using it. Your page is ready now. Simple. And then you have to write the test cases according to your page classes, according to your functionality. So test case generation, I'm not doing it here. This is only purely based on the page that you are passing, the URL that you are passing. On the basis of that, it will generate the page object class here. Let's take some other application. For example, let's see this application. This application is having so many things like see, let's see if, you know, six registration fields are available. Subscribe, yes and no, radio button is also there, privacy policy, checkbox and click on continue. So I simply say let's use this particular URL. So come back here. This time I'm changing the URL now. Just enter the URL. One thing guys, we are not saving anything over here. This is your cloud. You have to register. You have to sign up. It's absolutely free of cost. You don't need to pay anything for that. And then it's in your system. It's in your account. We are not saving anything. We are just giving the interface to interact with the cloud APIs internally. That's it. Okay. So if you're having issue that, okay, no, uh, are you saving any data or something like this? This is my official uh, URL. No, we are not doing anything. And you don't need to worry about just like we say, it's a lot of issues with the plugins, right? Extensions, plugins on the browser. There is no security issue. Absolutely just simple. Start using it and then launch it. This is available on my website. It's hosted on my website, Naveen Automation Labs code converter.html after that click on it and then it will open this cloud page and that's it so again come back here this is my registration url and again i'll say generate the semantic roles okay semantic roles based locators right and it says ignore the section so this time i'll say please don't create the locator for the footer because unnecessary locators will be created unnecessary locators will be created for the site panel also Unnecessary locators will be created for these menu items also. So I can give the ignore part also because other tools, they will give you the whole page page object, like hundreds of, you know, locators will be given and out of hundred, most of the locators are useless, right? So we are focusing only on the most interactive elements. So I simply say, please ignore the footers. Please ignore any side panel links. If any top links are available, let's see top links also, please ignore that. If any uh, menu links also available, menus links or menu items also available, please ignore that. So it will not generate the locators for these particular section. Okay. And simple after that, click on generate the page object and let's see, is it really working or not? Remember more application, like more elements on the specific application, it will take more time because it is analyzing the page structure first and then giving me the result here. So now it's it has found 19 interactive elements, is giving you the overall view also. This will be really helpful for your documentation purpose also. You can take the screenshot of this and then you can create a documentation also that on this particular page, these are the locators we are taking care. So this is something very good. Just take the screenshot, maintain in the conference page and then start using it. So let's see what kind of locators is generating. Can you see that? See all the playwright locators available here. Get by placeholder, get by placeholder. And then you can see that get by role, get by role. And see, this is the checkbox. This is a button for the get by role. It's using it here. So this is perfectly fine. And then see that one page method also giving me to fill the registration form, submit the registration form, and then navigate to the login page here. So this is like really crazy, right? That you just need to copy this code and start using in your Visual Studio code without any problem. So just copy this, open your Visual Studio code, create a file name, whatever the file name that you really want to create. Let's see, I simple go to my um, others folder and I create a file here. So let's see, this is my uh, registration page dot TypeScript file and then you simple paste here and then start using it. This is just a documentation. You can remove it and then perfectly good to go with that. Your page object is ready here without any problem. You see that. Perfect. It's so easy, so easy to write, so fast to write. It's like better than the page object that you're generating in the cursor or other things. Because I have implemented the logic in such a way internally that it will always give you the some give you the result with the right accuracy. 90 to 99% accuracy. Obviously, we cannot claim 100% everything is perfect over here. If you don't like this locator strategy, you can always change it. It's totally in your control now after you are getting it over here. So this is like the main headache that we always see, okay, with respect to, you know, different UI automation tools when we generate the page objects and page classes here. Now, let's see, there is another option also. What we can do here, 
we can let's say i just want to get the locator only for this particular section right so i can do one thing i can just simply go to the inspect element only for this particular form i really want to generate the page locator not for the entire page i can give the html dom also for that right so this is let's see the entire thing this entire form is actually available in this particular form html tag right so i simply do one thing right click on it go to copy the element and then again come back over here i have given the option that paste the html source also you just need to paste your html source here the complete html page source and then on the basis of that i'll say please generate playwright typescript or let's see playwright with java let's try that and then use semantic roles and ignore all these guys obviously it will ignore it because now uh, because everything is available inside the form so it will just focus only on this particular form and then after that let's generate the page object so this option is slightly faster than the url because here it's directly using the html it's not fetching the you know a data from the url so this is also a better option you can just simple copy paste your html source this is not your application business logic a simple html page source and then it's publicly available you can just start using it and you see that the locators are actually coming over here you see that same get by role get by label again get by label and then get by role and everything is getting here here and there results could be different again you can check it see this time it did not give me the uh, fill the registration form so you can just try it again okay so every time most of the time it will give you the right locators with the right methods if something is missing you can again generate the page object and then again you can retry that so this is like improving the performance again like in a drastic way this is like personally i'm feeling it that okay yes this these kind of utility should be there right it will generate the intelligent production ready page objects with the optimized locators not lengthy xpath or index based xpath or complex css these tools are available in the market we don't need to depend on these tools okay different browser plugins are available which will generate the complete absolute xpath and all we don't need to worry about it right and obviously we are talking about the static locators not the dynamic locators because dynamic locators you should not maintain at the top of the page you have to maintain inside the method and then you have to append with the variable the parameter of the method that you are passing right but here we are talking about the locators which are already available on the page here so again it got generated now this time i think is giving me all the uh, registration form uh, one by one it's filling each and every data and then giving me all the page locators here right so this is what you can just simple generate it like this okay again you can generate with some other uh, full page also if you really want to use it so full html also you can generate it from here right so it's up to you if public application is available public url is available just come simple come back and then enter the url and then generate it from here let's see it is, is does it really work with the python with the i mean playwright with the python also let's try that with the url so let's run it again so again i'm running it with the python also because there is there are people who are using playwright with the python as well so yes that support is also available you just need to have some patience because these are the ai based tools which is taking internally it takes its own time and it's giving me the result it's not like you have to wait for next 5 10 minutes but most of the time it will give you the result within 30 to 40 seconds and now it's giving me once again see that uh, this is my python code available here this is the registration page class available and then these are the different page locators are available get by role get by see this label get by role get by role once again get by text and then one fill registration method also given here and one more method submit the registration form and perfectly working fine here right so this is like really great same thing if you really want to do with the selenium cypress that also you can do it with selenium also we have given multiple language support and uh, with cypress also we have like cypress supports only javascript and the typescript that also we can use it here for example if you're using selenium sorry cypress with the javascript let's see in the cypress we don't have any semantic roles so ignore that again just ignore all these uh, you know footer side panel links no need to create the locators for that click on generate let's see what happens here so it is following the cypress best practices and no xpath or indexes it is actually avoiding it as much as possible it is avoiding the garbage locators also like food i mean footer and menu and all those things unnecessary right filter out decorative elements means whatever the most interactive elements are available on the page this is what we need right 
when we design the automation framework, when we design the test cases for the functional testing, right? And it is based your HTML source directly. That also you can use it. It is actually faster and more reliable. And AI fetches analyze the actual page HTML also from the URL. So right now that's why it's taking time because it's fetching the HTML content from this URL. And then after that, it will generate the Cypress based locators. You see that 12 interactive elements are available. First name, last name, email once again. And these are the locators coming for the Cypress class is registration page in the JavaScript. And then cy.get method hash tag it's using CSS selectors by default. It's using it here because in the Cypress, we don't have any uh, X path directly available. So see all the locators created with the CSS locators here. Perfectly working fine and then start using it copy and then that's it. Okay, so you can just use different applications from here and then I'll keep adding more features uh, in next release. I'll be adding WebDriver IO also and then I think it's absolutely good to go with that. All four major tools Playwright, Selenium, Cypress and the WebDriver IO with multiple language support is available. It's available running in the production already. You just need to go to NaveenAutomationLabs.com code-converter.html click on this link it if you're using Claude first time it will ask you to log in with your gmail account and that's it after that you can just simply start using this and then if you have any issues or if you're giving the wrong result please try it a couple of times uh, with the time it will be matured enough second thing if you are not able to do anything or you totally stuck somewhere or not able to generate the locator for a specific element or specific page, feel free to write in the comment section there. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, please share this video with others. I would request to other YouTubers also, uh, if you really want to use this particular tool to uh, create the content, to give the, you know, something to the community, you guys can also please share this content with others as well. This is absolutely free of cost, guys. There is no intention behind of making money for this. This is just to helping the community by providing these simple utilities here. There is no rocket science here. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.